Okay, I am uh, back with the Norton Antivirus Review after just fighting with somebody about my Avast Review. People are furious that, um, th that people are just crazy about Avast, I'm telling you. Um, just because Avast doesn't remove all the adware, don't get mad at me. I'm just reviewing it. Anyway, barely anyone does, so don't worry. Um, um, I just installed the Norton Antivirus, did an update, and now I need to activate it. So it's a 15 day trial. They'll go ahead and um, activate my trial. So once it's activated, I'm going to go in there and um, configure the the antivirus properties to to their most extreme level. I want to make sure I'm scanning for every little single bit. And this is really annoying. <laughs> I, I don't get this. They want me to create a Norton account. Why would I create an Orton account when my PC is highly infected? I am sure I have key loggers on here. I just don't get that line of thinking. I mean, it's just, that's moronic, basically. Anyway, I'm just going to close that. I basically have to end task this stupid thing, which is dumb, but, you know, if my PC was really, really infected, the task manager would be locked. And then I wouldn't be able to continue this review or this trial because I'm not going to submit personal information over the internet for a stupid trial. I'm sure I have a keylogger on here. But I guess nobody there has thought about that. So, oh well. So, I'm basically just trying to end the install. The install's already happened. Now they want me to register it. I'm not going to. They want me to create a Norton account so they can spam me for the rest of my life. Get rid of the dumb crap. Alright, All right, let's go ahead and pop open the Norton interface. It's real pretty. Looks nice. Let's go ahead and get into the uh, options of Norton Antivirus. Auto protect is on. Need to update the antivirus. No, it said it did it. It did not. Uh, so it looks like Norton has found some stuff and it's wanting me to reboot to get rid of it. I'm not going to do that just yet. <coughs> I'm just turning on basically every option I can just to make sure that I'm scanning for it. Um, it's got some email protection. I, I don't have email on this virtual machine, so I don't care. Um, not a whole lot of, like, you know, crazy options. They're all kind of basic. Thinking of the basic home user. And one of, uh, one, some person comment, commented on a, on a video saying, well, who uses Internet Explorer anyway? A lot of people use Internet Explorer. A lot of basic home users use Internet Explorer. Just a little FYI there. I don't know. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing right now, but when I go out and see clients in St. Louis every day, I say Firefox, and they look at me like I'm an alien. They've even heard of Firefox. These are people, everyday people. They get a computer, they turn it on, they use Internet Explorer, and that's it. Some people use stuff, but it's very rare. So I'm just looking at all these. Everything is basically checked. I want to make sure that's checked. Nothing really to really, nothing here to really talk about. Um, I am going to go to my manual scan settings. Um, Norton is set to scan for rootkits and other stealth items. That's kind of a new thing for them. Scan within compressed files. Scan active programs and startup files. Go ahead and hit OK to that. Uh, unfortunately, I need to make sure need to make sure that we actually get a good update here. So 
Uh, let's see. We want to run live update right now. Live update is Norton's or Symantec's, um, uh, you know, way to update a program. So I got a new pop-up here that I haven't seen this one yet. This is a recommended download for anti-spyware master. I clean this one off a couple times a week. That thing's annoying. Cancel that. So I'm going to try to download some updates now. Sorry, I thought I did this when I was doing the first thing. So we look here at Norton is starting to block some stuff. It says auto protect is blocked as security downloader. Your computer is secure. It shouldn't say your computer is secure. Uh, it's not. The computer is highly infected. Might give someone like a false sense of security. I'd just get rid of that line. They'd be okay then. I haven't checked the RAM usage and other reviews, and I really should have done that. Really, really, really kicking myself in the butt for that. But um, I'll do that with this one right now. See if I can even find the Norton processor. That's the update server. I don't even see it yet. I guess that's it right there, or the CCSV host. It's not using a whole lot of RAM, uh, you know. When I do a full scan, and maybe it will, but right now, the RAM's the RAM consumption is pretty minimal. So it's downloading updates. I'm gonna pause the video again. Sorry about that. I'll be right back.